Good morning, Jacksonville. Let's talk about uh, your forecast. Start you off here on your Monday. Clear skies out there right now. It's going to be a beautiful sunrise with temperatures into the mid 60s here across the first coast. Get you out the door though. Yeah, we could cool down to the higher 50s, but here's the deal. Sunny skies, rain chances remaining uh, pretty much zero today. It's got high pressure, big bubble, no trouble is what I like to say, and that's going to be the case as the temperatures rise up into the mid to high 80s by this afternoon. So a 10 out of 10. If you want to get out there and go for a run, it will be warm, less humid, just a gorgeous day in the forecast here on the first coast. Now I do want to mention this though. The atmosphere is gorgeous, but we still have high surf and dangerous rip currents. These long period swells offshore and it doesn't um, look rough if you go to the ocean right now. Definitely a far cry from what we were getting when Milton was passing us, but there is still plenty of power with those swells. So if you're going to head to the beach, I still advise you stay out of the water. It still could be dangerous and not only dangerous, but misleading uh, out there. Uh, high tides also an issue today. In fact, uh, we still have the St. John's River, the ICW, all these areas continue to be backed up following Milton, not only because of that onshore wind, but also all the heavy rainfall. We've seen a foot in spots towards our south and the river is still trying to drain out. So make sure spot your area, see where the high tide is. If you've already seen flooding, you still could see it. If you haven't seen flooding yet, because of Milton, you're not going to be one of these areas impacted. The water is slowly going down, but it is still something to watch out for. Boss, also, by the way, I was uh, fortunate enough to see this over the weekend. Uh, a comet in our western sky look towards the western sky after sunset. Uh, it is visible throughout this week. Uh, a long period comet takes like 80,000 years to orbit uh, the sun. I'm not going to say the name there because it is this big long uh, name, but I can tell you if you get out there and see it, it's absolutely gorgeous. Veronica sent this in, uh, shot this last night. Wow, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Just after sunset, Tina sent in this shot. Wow. And you know what? Today with those clear skies out there, you should be able to see it again. If you do, check out our First Coast News Weather Watchers Facebook page. It's going to be a gorgeous night to do a little uh, comet viewing and star viewing out there. All right, this is the other thing I want to talk about. Temperatures cooling off by midweek. We have a front that's going to kick on by. I'm going to leave you with this, though. Let's take a look at the wind chills. Thursday morning into the 40s. So enjoy those mid to high 80s if you like that warmer weather out there today.